Hey friends, what's up? I hope you're all okay and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Very, very excited about this new vlog today. It's that time of the year again. We are in Manchester for For the Love of Wrestling, my favourite convention, Europe's largest wrestling convention. This year's lineup is absolutely brilliant. I'm super, super excited and I can't wait to take you along for the next two days for what hopefully is going to be a really, really enjoyable weekend. Before we get going properly, I want to say a huge thank you to everybody who has watched the Disney World vlogs. I hope you enjoyed them. And also hello to the new subscribers that I've got from those videos. Thank you for subscribing. I hope you stick around and I hope you enjoy this video, whether wrestling is your thing or not. So I've gone to For the Love of Wrestling for the past two years and I have had the best weekend both times. I'm a little bit nervous this time, it feels a little bit strange because my wingman for these wrestling events, Robbie, is not here on this trip. Sad times. So today, even though there are people around that I know, I'm kind of going solo, which I don't usually do at a convention, so it's going to be interesting and it is making me feel a little bit nervous just because I'm just quite a nervous person in general. But hopefully it's going to be great. Um, like I say, there are people around that I know. Tomorrow, my friends Dave and Gemma, who you may recall from Disneyland Paris vlogs, are coming along. So I'm going to have company all day tomorrow. But for today, it's primarily just me. Spoiler for one of the people that I'm meeting today. I am sporting a Dolph Ziggler t-shirt, now known as Nick Nemeth. Really big deal for me. I wanted to meet Dolph Nick for so many years, so I'm super, super excited to meet him today. So happy to be representing him in today's show. So with all that being said, guys, it's probably time to head off to the venue, to the BEC in Manchester. I can't wait to take you along and let's see what we get up to today. Hopefully everything's going to go well. I will see you at the venue. We made it. It's 8.53. We're at the BEC. Raining a little bit. Hopefully they'll let us in in a second. I'm so pumped. Okay, it's 9am and we're in. Monopoly doing a fantastic job, as always, of getting people in swiftly, so not too wet. Only a little bit, I'll drive super quickly. Different setup this year, so we've got a big progress ring here, which I assume is where the uh, panels are going to be happening. Behind me here is the photo areas, and then this way around behind me, we've got all of where the autographs are gonna be done. And then the room opposite is looking to be where all the stalls are. So definitely a switch around compared to how it's been in previous years. Initially, I'm thinking this setup looks ace though. Really good. Yeah, this works really well actually. So literally all of the autographs are all in one long line going down there. Much better setting. Yeah, and then this hall in here is being used as a vendor space and the little gaming area over there. So I think it's basically a reversal of how things were last time. Um, but this setup really, really works. I like it a lot. I think this is gonna work really well. Good job, Monopoly. Look at this. That's our work going on here. Really cool. Okay, so first meet of the day just done. I just met Jake Hager, formerly known as Jack Swagger. Here is the signed figure looks awesome super happy with it went with purple because of the hat he has the hat by the way i hope he wears it for photo later just had the absolute amazing experience with him i told him um that i met him like 12 13 years ago i was a really shy kid with no confidence at all and he was so incredibly lovely to me and um he gave me so much confidence and it really meant the world to me back then and really just helped me a lot genuinely and um he came over around the table and gave me a hug and said, we're all going through something, man. I really appreciate you telling me that. Thank you, you made me smile and you've made my day. And it was just the most special, incredible moment. Jake Hager is just the best. I love the guy so, so much. So 
yeah, what a way to start this convention, amazing. I was in the Mandy Rose queue, but it got cut off because she's got a photo. I might go and get her photo done now, or I might do this afternoon, I'm not sure. But either way, first autograph of the day done, super happy. Had a bit of an issue, photo booth B has collapsed. There's John Morrison and Ty Valkyrie inside. Okay, second autograph in the bag. We have just got this Funko signed by Elias, looking really, really cool. I've also had my photo taken with Mandy Rose, who is an absolute delight. Really looking forward to getting her autograph later. I've had my photo taken with Ty Barker and John Morrison, the duo. I will uh, insert those, well, I'll show you those photos later when we get back to the hotel tonight. Um, but yeah, I'm super, super happy with this. Elias has got his guitar with him, which is gonna look awesome in the photo really happy. He's got his guitar, Nick Nemeth has got his uh, New Japan belt, Matt Riddle's got his New Japan belt. These photos are going to look awesome today, I'm super super happy. So yeah, autograph number two in the bag, things going well so far. I'm so happy with how my photos are coming out today guys, they're really really good. Um, then I was going to get Trisha Lita but the queue was like humongous and the lady was like come back to the second session. This is one thing that I love about Monopoly, every guest has two photo shoots a day so sometimes it's just easy to go back in the afternoon so that's what I'm going to do for that one. So I managed to get my Elite Series 13 figure signed by Don Ziggler. Shout out to Retro Wrestling who were able to hook me up with this and I'm so so happy with how this figure has come out. Signed in pink. He was amazing. He was like my main one today. I've got my photo with him in a little bit. So I'm really 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 happy with, um, with my interaction with him and that autograph. And then I've also just been able to get Mandy Rose who is the one guest that's only here for one day. So she was the one that I was like I need to get her sorted. I got chucked out of her queue this morning because <laughs> she had to go to the photo um, but I've just gone back now and to be fair I've only waited about 10 minutes to get her so again this has come out awesome. So far guys so good. I'm happy with my photos, I'm happy with my autos. Today is a really really great day so far. So next I only have two more autographs that I need to get. I need to get a figure signed by John Morrison and a Funko signed by Matt Riddle. Um, and then I've got some more photos and then a chance to look around the stalls, I guess. So yeah, today is going really, really well. No complaints at all. Okay, just a little bit darker in this space, but just got John Morrison's autograph. I'm so happy with how this figure came out. It looks absolutely amazing. Loving these old masks today. So, so good. I've got one autograph left to get, which is Matt Riddle, who's just across the way from me here. Gonna get his Funko Pop signed. And then my autographs are done, which is amazing. I'm so, so happy. So yeah, today could not be going any better. What a day. Everyone is so lovely. Everyone is really, really nice. So let's go get Matt Riddle's auto. And then we've got some more photos to get today. Okay, autographs complete. Matt Riddle is an absolute treasure. I adore him so much. What a guy. Um, I've met him before, but it's great to meet him again and get his autograph. Got the Funko Pop signed. Um, to Simon, thanks. He signed it and then put bro on a smiley face, and then he's also put RK bro, four time T, and two time tag champs on the side as well. He was so so awesome, just super kind, super humble, such a nice guy. He just is, he's really awesome. Um, and my friend Karen 
has met him loads and I said that she said hi and he remembered who she was so we had a nice moment over that and um, he was like oh, oh my god I know Karen and um, yeah it was a really uh, it's a really beautiful moment so I'm excited to share that moment with Karen and let her know that he said hi um, so yeah really really great time today I'm supposed to be in a photo with Nick Nemeth now but the photo area has genuinely got a little bit crazy so I think I've done my autos now so I think the photos that I've got left to do I'm gonna do them after lunch so that I don't have to stand in the organized chaos that is over in the photo area right now so I'm just gonna have a little bit of a chill and go and check out some of the um, stalls I think hopefully not spend anything over because I'm already from this event. <laughs> um, worth it though, what a day, what a day. The photo area, wild. Guys, Project D Donut is where it's at. Look at this. I'm excited. When it con, treat yourself. Guys, take a look at these. So cool. They just made a cheeky purchase from this store. I'll show you later. I was looking for something more to be given, and of course, I got into wrestling. That's why we're bringing it in. And the one thing that was was really beat into my head, like Brian Butler was like, you're a uh, mixed martial arts fighter, don't come here and be a pro wrestler. Do what you do in the ring. And this is before I actually did my match and I was working out with those guys in Calgary. Uh, they approached me about doing the match, and it was against Stone Bird. And uh, I was like, I've never really had to be on that side, and they were actually awesome to me to fight inside there, but that yeah, was fun. But again, I didn't. Me personally, I just didn't know whether or not I could do it until I did because they asked me to do it. So getting in there when that thing actually started, it was probably five or ten minutes into the match, and it was like I literally had no clue about what kind of thing it was. I just figured these guys were beating each other. Shamrock seems like an awesome human being. I'm a fan. I like it. So I didn't get my photo with him today, sadly, but they've just said you just rock up tomorrow with your ticket and you can have it taken tomorrow, so hopefully he'll be back. I've just watched some of the Trish and Leah panel, they're still on, but I wanted to come and sit down and just have a little bit, bit of a, uh, little bit of a breather. So yeah, so I've got my team bestie photos to have taken today, shortly, and then that's it, I'm done for the day. So I'm probably gonna have my photo taken and then head off back. Look guys, look what I've bumped into. I don't know who's going to do it. Lewis, come on, I've got something to speak. Mate, how's it going? You alright? Yeah, standard, I'm getting tired now. Yeah, yeah, it's been, it's been a good day, but quite a long day, isn't it? 19 photo shoots in one day. This guy's mental. No, I'm sorry, I'm learning about space. <laughs> Just been hearing all this drama about bizarre hotel rooms. 
and Mandy Rose interactions and it's stuff. It's been a 24 hours for you, hasn't it? It's been, a, it's been yeah. an interesting time. I'm technically slept. Check out his vlog, you'll hear all about it. Where can the people find you? Well, the link below, hopefully, folks. He normally doesn't. I'll link him. Check him out. So we're back in the hotel now and I'm just going to give you a closer look at today's autographs. So this is the Jake Hager one. However, I've had to laugh because I've realised that he's actually done his Jack Swagger signature rather than his Jake Hager one, but has wrote in a circle for life. So I've got a combination of Hager and Swagger there, which probably makes it quite unique not complaining sorry about the reflection but these are all in uh plastic protectors there's my dov ziggler one which has come out really really good my series 13 really happy with that and then moving along here we've got mandy rose again looks awesome and then the last elite that is signed is John Morrison and then we've got the two Funko Pops so we've got this one from Matt Riddle which has got this on the side as well and then Elias pickups today I was very restrained I just got the three so I picked up this um, Switchblade J White t-shirt which I've loved this t-shirt design for ages. I think it came in an elite crate in the States. Um, yeah, and I just love the design on it. I love Jay White, so I really wanted to get it. Saw it, thought yes. So I grabbed that. I also grabbed, uh, still sealed, new and sealed, the DVD for AW Full Gear from 2020. Um, this is actually the first AW DVD that I have bought but I do want to actually get these and they're quite hard to get so when I saw this one today I thought I'm just going to take the opportunity to grab it and get it so I've got that one and then the third pickup was this Hasbro Undertaker figure so I had this when I was a child and I've been thinking lately that I really wanted to get one to just put on my shelf at home he has got obviously some, you know, missing paint on his gloves and he's got a little bit of a smudge on his back there. But on the whole, for his age, I actually think he's in really good condition. I mean, the face looks excellent. So, yeah, I'm really, really happy to have this and it's going to sit on the shelf at home. And then photos from today. So first up, here is my picture with Mandy Rose. I'm really happy with my pictures today. I genuinely think they've all come out really good. So that's my Mandy Rose one. Next up, we have John Morrison and Taya Valkyrie duo. Really happy with how this one came out as well. This is probably my favourite photo of the day. Team Bestie, Trish and Lita together. I am so happy that I made the decision to get this photo. I'm so happy with how it's come out. It's a new favourite of mine. Super, super, super cool moment. So happy to have had this. We've then got Elias. Guys, he had a friggin' guitar with him. So cool. Super, super happy with this one as well. Here's my picture with my main man, Dolph Ziggler. Really happy that after all these years, I finally met him. He had his new belt from New Japan on as well. Although his jacket is covering up half of it, but still... Really great to meet him with the belt. And then finally for my photos today, Matt Riddle, who also had his New Japan belt with him. I am dying at his t-shirt. He was actually selling those t-shirts today. <laughs> I was very tempted. Really, really cool. Such a nice guy. I really do love Matt Riddle so much. And as I said in the vlog, I was supposed to get Jake Hager's autograph today as well, but he went back to the hotel feeling unwell. So hopefully they just said that I can just get that tomorrow. Um, just take my ticket up and it's fine. So that's all my pickups from today. Those are all the autographs that I'm getting this weekend. I was only planning on getting the six autographs and I've stuck to it. 
Um, so tomorrow is just meeting a whole load more people for photos and just a great chance for me to chill with Dave and Gemma and just have a nice relaxing day and get some nice photos taken. Um, but yeah, super, super happy with today. Great experiences. The autographs have all come out brilliant. The photos have all come out brilliant. I like my three pickups I've grabbed as well. It's been a really great day, but I'm now feeling pretty tired. So I'm gonna get some food and then probably get an early night. And I'm excited for tomorrow. So I will see you guys in the morning. Night. Good morning and welcome to day two of For The Love Of Wrestling. I slept really well last night. I was very tired. I'm feeling super refreshed today. No autographs I said yesterday. I've got 13 photos booked today, I think. So it's gonna be a little bit crazy on the photo front, but loads of fun. I cannot wait to see Dave and Gemma. It's been ages since I've seen them. So I'm so excited to see them today. Outfit for the day. This may look recognizable to you. I am wearing the Jay White t-shirt that I picked up yesterday. I had a, uh, I had another t-shirt with me, which was just like a plain black shirt, put it on this morning, wasn't feeling it. So I had to make an emergency costume change. So today's outfit is the Jay White t-shirt from yesterday, which feels by the way, super comfortable and I'm loving it. So with that being said, I will see you at the venue for what will hopefully be a day two that is just as good as what day one was. So I'll see you there. We're back and it's much sunnier today as well. So yeah, it's gonna be dry. <laughs> We're in and it's looking a lot quieter than yesterday, which is on trend for this event. Sunday is always really relaxed and chilled and lovely. So yeah, not looking busy at all today. A few people starting to queue for Trish and Lita. But it's, yeah, really quiet. Look who's here. Hello, it's Dave and Gemma, how are you doing? Yeah, yeah? Dave, how many photos have you got today? 16. What a wrestling fan, I love it. I'm proud of you. Who are you most looking forward to? Seeing you. What a beautiful moment. And Gemma is just happy to be here. I'm so made me cry. It's gonna be a good day. I'm so happy these guys are here. Weekend made. Guess who I just bumped into. <laughs> who has made a last minute decision to come Certainly having been in Vegas yep. in TNA yep. wild oh, front row oh, 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 oh. front row hello and the TV tables and I've watched all those shows and didn't notice him I can't believe that that's crazy wow. how many are you meeting today James? Well, yes. last minute decisions last minute. meeting 8 people <laughs> who are you most excited for? Um, probably Maria 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 good choice Cool. I'm so happy he's here. This is awesome. What a day. So it's been an absolute whirlwind. We're about halfway through getting the photos. Everyone's been great. Again, I'm really happy with all the photos. So yeah, this convention has just been absolutely incredible. Shout out to Jake Hager again, who remembered me from yesterday and asked me if I'd had a good day in the photo op. I love the photo with him. He's just amazing. We had a little bit of a chat before the photo as well, and he was uh, having a bit of a laugh. So yeah, he's been MVP of the weekend for me. So yeah, so we're about, like I say, about halfway through getting the photos now. Next one up is Enzo Amore. So yeah, another great day, really enjoying the fun. Triple question. Jimmy versus Jay. Who's your 
That just about does it for this convention we are traveling home now when i get home i will show the photos from today it's been a fantastic day so great to spend time with friends i've loved this weekend it's been the dream con but we'll have a debrief when we get home so i'll see you on the other side okay so it's actually the next day because i got back super late last night i didn't film much footage yesterday i'm fully aware of that but to be honest I was kind of going around and around and around in the photo area getting my photos done so um, there wasn't much to vlog and also other than that I was just having an amazing time catching up with friends who I hadn't seen for ages and it was just an amazing wonderful day and I just wanted to enjoy it um, so not much footage from yesterday but I will now show you all of the photos that I got yesterday and there's quite a few of them so let's take a look. So first up, here's my fantastic photo with Jake Hager. As I've said on the vlog, he was just the absolute best this weekend. I'm so happy with this new photo to replace the one from like 12, 13 years ago. Um, and I just loved his outfit so, so much yesterday. He was a real delight. So I'm so, so happy with how this came out. Next up, we've got Rhino, really friendly guy in the photos. I'm really loving TNA at the moment, and obviously he's in TNA, so um, he's quite a relevant name to me right now, so it was really, really great to meet him. Next up, we have the legendary Ken Shamrock. He was so polite in the photos, really, really nice to meet, and I'm really glad that I've met this legend. Next up, Shelton Benjamin. How happy does he look in this photo? <laughs> so happy with how it came out again really really pleasant experience meeting him just a joy then have one of my favorite photos of the weekend with gangrel <laughs> um as a big fan of the brood when i was younger if you would have told young simon that he would have been having this photo taken with gangrel <laughs> and now having met all three members of the brood i wouldn't have believed you um so yeah this is really really cool and he was awesome we then have a solo photo with Lita, so obviously I got the Team Bestie duo on Saturday, which I loved, but I've got uh, solo photos with Trish in the past and I'd never met Lita before, so I really wanted a photo of just me and Lita, and I'm really glad with how this one came out. She was just so lovely. Speaking of lovely, we've then got Maria Canellis Again, so pleasant, so polite, really lovely. I love her managing role in uh, Ring of Honor and uh AEW now so yeah it was really really great to meet her she was really nice next up is Enzo Amore this is quite a late addition for me I wasn't actually planning on getting Enzo but I'm really glad I did in the end because he was just really nice again I can't fault these guests I know it's kind of like I'm just repeating myself but everyone really was lovely uh this weekend and I'm super happy with how this photo came out we got two words for you. <laughs> it was so cool to meet X Puck. Um, I have wanted to meet him for ages. I've met Billy Gunn and Road Dog, so he was on my list of people I wanted to meet, and I just love this photo. Really, really happy with it. Next up, here's me and Rikishi. Now, this is a bucket list moment for me. Growing up, Rikishi was one of my absolute favourites. He's also one of Dad's favourites. We've just always liked him. So being able to meet him was really, really cool. And we acknowledged the bloodline and the tribal chief, <laughs> which I was happy to do with him. Uh, yeah, caught a bit of his panel as well. And he just seems like a really awesome guy. So yeah, really, really happy to have got to meet Rikishi. We've then got Hornswoggle. Again, 
Not much to say about this one other than I'm really happy with it. <laughs> really nice guy to meet. Similarly with Al Snow, really great to meet him. Another legend from the Attitude Era, along with Head as well. I was so pleased that Head was with him. <laughs> um, yeah, just proper, proper happy with this one. And he was a joy to meet. And the last of my solo photos is with CJ Perry, also known, of course, as Lana. Um, I'm really happy with this one. I went up to her and shook her hand and asked her if she would mind doing her best badass pose back to back with me and uh, and this is what came out and I'm super super happy with it so yeah I'm really really happy with this photo and the last photo of the weekend was the last minute edition for me and that is a photo of me and Dave with Sergeant Slaughter. Me and Dave have been going to these conventions for years now and we've never got a photo together so we thought that this was finally the time to get one together so we chose Sergeant Slaughter, a legend, a Wrestlemania main eventer, just an, a name that everyone who knows wrestling knows Sergeant Slaughter. Um, so yeah we didn't want to pass up the opportunity to meet him so we're glad we got this photo we both really like it and he was a real pleasure to meet really really nice I did also get one more pickup from the stalls yesterday I grabbed this Funko Pop double pack of Undertaker and Paul Bearer a GameStop exclusive um, I saw it and they had 10% off and I was like, I'm all about having a little bit of a sale. So I grabbed it. I'm really happy I did. I don't know yet whether I'm going to keep this in the box or take them out. I don't know. What do you think I should do? Let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, obviously big Undertaker fan. I really wanted this double pack. So I was really happy to pick this up yesterday. Look at this, guys. It looks so cool super happy with it so that is the vlog for this year's for the love of wrestling an amazing weekend maybe my favorite for the love of wrestling so far which is saying something because i always love these events it's like one of my favorite weekends of the year and it was it was just amazing i loved all my photos i love all the autographs all the guests that i met were great i just couldn't fault it it was so good seeing friends so i really did have the best time before I end this vlog, I just want to say on Sunday afternoon, uh, there was one really lovely guy who you might have been eating cheesy chips at the time, maybe, um, said hi and asked if I was uh, doing a vlog of this weekend and said that he subscribes to the channel and watches the videos. And I said thank you very much to him and that I really appreciated it. And then I was on my way um, and I didn't catch his name. So if you are the person that I spoke to, please leave a comment below with your name so that I know who you are. Um, I really appreciated you saying hello. I am uh, not the best when it comes to people saying that they watch my videos because I never expect it and it always means the absolute world to me but I'm never quite sure how to react to it because I'm quite an anxious and nervous person in real life so if you do see me ever and you do watch the vlogs please do say hello um but yeah sometimes I'm just not the best at sort of like communicating to you that I'm grateful <laughs> but I am so yeah thank you so much for uh, stopping me and saying hi and please let me know who you are um but I really appreciate you so thank you so that's gonna do it for this one guys I hope you've enjoyed the video I am already looking forward to for the love of wrestling next year um I'm sure I'll be back and I'm sure it'll be an amazing lineup again well done Monopoly events for a great weekend and yeah if you're new here please remember to like comment share subscribe tell your friends about this channel all that good stuff i really want to uh, take this channel over 300 subscribers if i can that's my new aim um so yeah tell your friends <laughs> uh, but that's gonna do it for this one guys thank you so much and i will see you guys soon take care and bye for now